Let's go. Oh my god. What the hell? Oh, I can see him. <gasps> oh. I threw a petrol bomb on him. I thought it might set him off. No, but never mind. Guess the game don't work like this. Like that. I'm gonna get my grenades out. Uh, where are they? Down here somewhere, obviously. The hell? Doesn't even set them off. Byron. Careful. You can walk through the middle, yeah. Look around here. What we got here? There's millions. <laughs> Careful. How the hell am I meant to get through these? Huh. <laughs> walk across here, I suppose. Oops. Uh. Oh, I need to put a little fifty one of that wrench. I'm trying to find something I don't need, so I can just throw it at the things. I need to throw that. Byron! There's, and it, you know, do you know the best thing? There's nothing even in there. There's, there's just some like brass knuckles in there. Yeah, grenades and mortals don't do anything to the mines. Even if you throw stuff at them, it doesn't do anything. Oh dear. You killed us both. We don't even need to be in here anyway.
Oh, shit, I <laughs> forgot about the mines. I forgot about the mines and started running. You still there, Byron? Byron. Okay, hurt to take a look. Byron. Oh. <laughs> The hell? Oh, you got blown up. <laughs> Wonder what was that just was just then. <laughs> How much you got? <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah. Kills your money, doesn't it? Whoa, big ass drop down there. Let's see if this intercom works. Dr. Kessler, you in there? Who is it? What do you want? My name's Perna, and I need your help. It won't take more than a couple of minutes. I am busy doing serious research here. I have no time for visitors. Leave me be. Sir, that's what I want to discuss with you. I, um, I read your study on Kuru disease. It was bloody brilliant. Uh, can we talk? I swear I can't get a moment's peace around here. Very well, come in. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it's a golf club there. Interesting. Most of my squad is dead. Melby and Howard were lost in Kundera. Johnson was attacked by this <laughs> abomination. If he put a bullet in the his screams were raising the dead. Oh, I, don't know, I don't know actually. At least they look and smell bloody dead, but how can that be? Yeah. Well, they came from the jungle, from, from everywhere, snarling like hungry animals. Miller panicked and ran into a hole. Oh dear. All right, I let you in. Now tell me what you want. I need to get to Henderson, and I heard you know a way through those old Japanese tunnels. There aren't any tunnels. Now get out of here. I am a scientist, not a tour guide. Stop wasting my time. Marcus Villa told me about them tunnels, so I know you know about them. You saw Marcus. I haven't seen him in ages. He was brilliant, you know, in his own way. But let us just say there are reasons we no longer work together. Very good. Reasons. Yeah, he tried to eat me. I get it. He's fucked up crazy. He wanted to eat you. That doesn't make any sense. Sure, he went to live with the natives, but they've always struck me as peaceful people. Perhaps he was worse off than I even imagined. But that does not explain why he would resort to cannibalism. He said he needed flesh from somebody who's immune. Said he wanted to make a cure or some shit. 
Wait a moment. Are you saying that you are immune to what's happening out there? And then, this certainly changes things, doesn't it? Yes, I'm afraid it does. Yeah, I have a map that you should find helpful. But if you want it, you need to help me with something. I have been researching this disease for many years now. Kuru has been endemic to the indigenous people here for centuries. This outbreak is one of many, and each incident is a little different, as is the trigger that reawakens the plague. It's truly remarkable how this prion disease adapts on changes, how it mutates when exposed to external factors, the speed at which it affects the host organism. Astonishing, really. But science can be unpredictable. Dangerous, even, you understand? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing them corpses out in the greenhouse unpredicted themselves to an early grave. A truly unfortunate accident. One that was largely the fault of my assistance. I assure you, I had very little to do with what happened out there. Whatever, man. Just tell me what you want me to do so I can get the hell out of here. I am merely trying to make it clear that I am not an evil man. In times such as these, it is easy for men of science to be blamed, persecuted for their actions. Especially by people who possess lesser minds. My four assistants were in possession of some reagents, chemicals, contained within vials. Unfortunately, those vials are out there in the greenhouse. Bring them to me, and I will give you the map. Do we have a deal? Oh, we get, a, we get a stun gun for doing this. You will probably need to kill all four of them in order to secure the vials. But there is no saving them now. You will be putting them out of their misery. Yeah, man, shit happens. I get it. But you better have that map waiting for me. Fucking hell. Okay. Is it a suicide? Throw a grenade up there anyway. I, think I just missed. Oh, I did. Where about you, like, Byron? Quite a few people swarming you, so watch out. I'm coming to you now, so I can help you. If I can get up here. See why you wouldn't go back. What the hell are we supposed to do this time? Do you have to throw a petrol bomb up there? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Fuck you, man. What happened then? What was all the explosions up there? Ah. I'll throw another one up there. It's the last one. Oh, it's not. I've got one more. The whole place is on fire up here. There we go. Ciao. Oh, for fuck's sake! What does that just do? Let's this switch here and... No idea what happened. Oh, did the gates open? Oh, did you open it? Oh shit. Oh, I've got Niles flares. How can you say run when you've already thrown it on me? Done now, or we, we just need one more thing. I'm taking that. One more. Is it one more? Oh, it's a big guy, isn't it? <laughs> this is where I wish I had some petrol bombs now. How do we even get down there? How do we even get there? Oh, never mind, I can see it.
Byron. Oh, that's punching him. You can't say run away after the explosion's already gone off. No, that one's mine. Got them all. You know I was punching him. Yo, low. <laughs> so I killed myself. Uh oh. I thought I was stuck there. Good, good. Now I can conduct my tests. I only require a sample of your blood. No, that wasn't part of the deal, Doc. Now you hand over that motherfucking map. I am doing a poor job of explaining myself. You are clearly immune, that much is certain. But that does not mean that you are safe. There is a strong possibility that the virus is in your body. And if it is, You're it could stuck. mutate. And depending on how it mutates, right. you could be in grave danger. I got to get stuck in the pond, blood like sample. Me. I run a simple test oh. and then we'll know. This is for your own good. Let's get this over with. Uh, he's he's going to take our board. Feel a little prick. Nothing to worry about. Do this test for me, and the map is yours. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? If I had a little sweet, I would give you one. And I'd shove it up your ass. <laughs> Maybe there's something in here. Oh, it'll only take a moment to prepare the sample. Please be patient. Where's he going? Astonishing. Byron, did you see my did you see my text last night about getting 120 megabyte internet? My dad has to have a, after talk to my first day in town. So much. Yeah, Virgin Media Shop or something. I don't know. You are completely resistant to the virus. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. No, it is not what you think. Your resistance to the virus has kept it from multiplying, from wreaking havoc on your body. But it has not destroyed the virus. It has merely suppressed it. You need to be very careful. Any contact with certain types of reagents could trigger a mutation. And if the virus mutates, it stands to reason that you could lose your immunity. Or much, much, much worse. Unfortunately, there are so many factors to consider that it is impossible for me to tell you exactly what might happen. But one thing is clear. You should avoid anything that would put you at risk. Such as? Your plan was to use the tunnels to reach Henderson, correct? Yes, the Japanese created them during World War II, and later they were used to store chemical weapons. In the 50s, during a monsoon, there was a leak. When some of those chemicals worked their way into the water, the Aussies sent in a battalion of engineers and soldiers to clean them up. But they weren't successful. When they went into the tunnels, one of them must have been infected. The virus mutated and all hell broke loose. The Aussies had to blow the entrances to prevent the infection from spreading. Most of the men were still down in the tunnels. I have long suspected that exposure to those chemicals is what caused the infected soldier to mutate. Anyway, you need to find the old Jesuit mission. A passageway runs from the ruins down into the tunnels. Here is the map, as I promised. I cannot stop you from going down there. That is your decision. But if you do, use an abundance of caution. Try to avoid prolonged exposure to the chemicals. I wish you best of luck. Okay, thanks, Doc. Hello, you there? Thank God I was starting to worry. Did you get the map from Kessler? Yeah, I got it. Might be a bitch going through the tunnels, though. You can fill me in when we meet up. Where are you going now? I need to find the entrance to the tunnels. Will you help me with one important matter? What you need? 
We need more data for my research if I'm going to be able to help you. If you're heading to the tunnels, please, be observant. Bring me whatever unusual you find there. Will you? Uh-huh. Okay. Excellent. There might be a strange substance or, or a monster that you have not seen before. Maybe some trace from the Australian force. <laughs> 